What do you have? A glass of milk. A glass of... Here you are, a glass of milk. Four on the five and the ten on the jack. It's the only way to play it. Keep your ideas to yourself, stranger. I don't take the people who start interfering. <laughs> How about a little game of poker to help pass the time? Thanks just the same. I'm not interested. And besides, from the looks of you, you ain't got enough money to stay for long. <laughs> You'd be smarter to put that away for your old age. You'd just lose it if you leave it there. Who is he, anyhow? I don't know, but he's out of his mind. What's going on in here? How come you boys are so quiet? All right, it's you, Lucas. You aim to pull another sucker into a game, huh? You've already ruined every other man here. You put those cards away or I'm taking you in. I just got the town, Sheriff. I'm the one who's looking for a game. And besides, do I look the type to be ruined? All right, Lucas, do what you want. But I got $10 that says you won't have a cent left and I'll have to run you out of town for vagrancy. No limit on the betting, right? It's a deal. One down and four up. It's a deal. Now we go till one of us is cleaned out. Naturally. I don't even mind a bit of cheating. Wait a minute, you. Just what do you mean you'll let him cheat? I mean that if I catch him, I'll kill him. <laughs> okay, you're on.
tequila. Another two hundred. I'm with you. That'll cost you 500. has the devil working for him. Never saw him beat yet. Last month took two weeks wages away from me in an hour. Yeah. And even ten. He's gone completely crazy. Are you willing to trust me for four thousand? It's only for an hour. I don't care if it's only for a minute. You know the rules of the game. Four thousand dollars, as you said. I'll cover you. If you win, I take off. And if you lose, you owe me $4,000. Don't worry, I won't lose. Beat four queens. Four kings. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Holy locust, that's enough of that. I thought you were a better sport.
Lucas, I warned you. Somebody finally beat you. Now you haven't got a penny to your name. Give me some whiskey, Joe. Who's paying? I'm paying. After taking all your money, it's only fair. Come on, cheer up. Things are never as bad as you think. Yeah, how would you know? Oh, I know a lot. For one thing, that you owe that Mexican a big, fat 4000 And I also know someone who would be willing to pay it off. Who's the numbskull to do that? I am. To a long and fruitful friendship. I accept all your conditions. But you don't know what they are yet. I'll do anything you want, as long as it's not... Not killing. All right, you've got a job. Looks like you're in luck today, friend. Here's your $4,000 back. Don't take too many risks, senor. You'll live longer that way. All right, come on. You've got work to do. I suppose you can drive a wagon. How far? From here to Chamaco. It's just this side of Mexico. And for a little trip like that, you're willing to pay out $4,000. Not only that, there's 5,000 more waiting at the other end. You'll get it from the man who's taken delivery of the wagon. Who is this man? I have no idea. The original driver has been killed. His orders were to bring that wagon to Chamaco and put it in the blacksmith's barn. That's all I know. Uh-huh. Just what's in this wagon? Paper. A whole wagon load. And being as how I'm the nosy type, suddenly I'm very curious to know what a blacksmith wants with paper in his line of work. And you're willing to pay me $4,000 to find out? <laughs> I'm paying absolutely nothing. I won the 4,000 from you, don't forget. Have you got a cigar? What do you say? Is it a deal? Don't forget the money that's coming to you after you get there. It's a deal. I'm also the nosy type. And I reckon the best way to find out what that paper's for is to go down there and see. Then it's all settled. You can leave any time.
Find better forces, amigo. Do you want to sell them? Get away from there! <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, amigo. You want a cigar? Fancy meeting you here in Chamaco. I was sure you'd accomplish your mission in good health. May I offer you a drink? I'd like one. A glass of milk for my friend. No, a whiskey. Oh, oh, excuse me, I, uh... Well, what's wrong with you? Hey, wake up. A shot of whiskey over here, pronto. What happened at the blacksmith? He just put new shoes on the horses. And the wagon load? Disappeared. But in its place, someone left me these. Well, they want you to go and gamble with it, I reckon. They allow gambling in here? They have a roulette game going where the table stakes are enough to make your head start whirling. As for me, mm, there's only one hitch. If the croupier doesn't like your face, he won't let you play. When they left me these, I reckon they must think my face is right like <laughs> Pretty smart this way they pay you off, but they stay incognito. But we're a couple of nosy types, and we have to meet them personally, don't we? That's all, ladies and gentlemen. The betting is closed. Fourteen. Nobody wins. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Number ten for the gentleman. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Two hundred dollars on the red. 800 on 27, 100 on 12. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. The betting is closed, no more bets. I said no more betting. Number 36 wins.
There you are, sir. Place your bets. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. 400 on 24. Place your bets. No more bets. <laughs> Here you are, sir. You won again. You're going to need a wheelbarrow to carry your winnings home. Like the lady, so I've heard, like most women, she can't resist me. The betting is now closed, ladies and gentlemen. No more bets. Too late, sir. I'm sorry. No more bets. I guess it's one of the rules of the game. Zero. Nobody wins. <laughs> Better for me. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. No more bets. The betting is closed. The betting is closed, sir. No more bets. 32. Number 32 wins. <laughs> the table is closed, ladies and gentlemen. You're overdoing it a bit, aren't you? That's all for tonight. The table is closed. You made a mistake with that last bet, stranger. What business is it of yours? Oh, wait, let him finish. Why was it a mistake? You heard him say the betting was closed. That's right. But I say the betting's open again. Are you... Shoot him in the back. That's not nice. Put it away and raise your hands. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the game will continue. <laughs> no one else playing? Go on, spin it. Try and make it a 10. I blocked my own bishop. Masters! The stranger's winning at roulette. What stranger? The guy who delivered the wagon. Winning uh, more than he was supposed to? I'll say. Much more. Well, at the moment, we can't afford to do away with him. Why didn't he keep the bargain? I don't know. He won his 5000 and he refused to quit. I tried to make him stop, but... But you failed. Go back to town and pick him up. Bring him out here to the ranch. I guess we'll have to pound a little sense into him. Right.
Thank you. We've had a lovely time. That should smoke them out of their holes. I hope so. Maybe now we'll find out who the boss is. The game we're playing might turn out to be pretty risky. I never thought it would be a picnic. If you want to back out, I'm not going to stop you. I'm a gambler. I never back out when I figure out my head. But you're not ahead right now. You're just bluffing and you know it. Proud little thing, isn't she? Yeah, proud is the way I like them. Hey, Lola. Bring him to the barn. That's an order from Masters. Say that's a girl who's worth getting to know better. I'm about to find out. This where you live? Ah, our reception committee. Proud of yourself, sweetheart. Well, now what do we do? Masters wants to see you. I don't believe I've made his acquaintance. <clears throat> He's not interested in being social. It's an order. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. I got a drink waiting at the bar. With a friend. He'll be wondering where I am by now. Well, nice meeting you. I'll be going now. He looks too decent to be hanging out with you. But if he is your friend, then he could use a little assistance. Where is he? In the blacksmith's barn.
out of the way. Would you like a cigar? Be a pleasure. A girl told me you were having a little trouble out here. Yeah, once more she got me into it. These charming gentlemen here had it in their heads to take me to a certain master's. Seems that he wants to talk to me. Name it anything? Masters, sure. I once beat the pants off him at poker. He has a ranch around two miles to the north. He wants to see you, huh? Uh-huh. And I guess the only thing to do is to let his men take me out there to meet him. In my opinion, that's a very smart decision. You'll soon find out where all that paper got to and what they're doing with it right now. Look, why exactly do you want to know so badly? Because I'm nosy. Aren't you? Yeah. Looks as if you and I got a lot in common. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't play, you can't win. Right. On your feet. Time to wake up. We got a date with Masters. Hey, Bronson, give me a hand. Get me some water. Yes, sir. set a trap for him, and I led him into it. Oh, George. And who told you to do it? One of the men who works for Masters. I had to do it. I had no choice. What are you doing back in Shamako? I'm here because I've got work to do, so to speak. No, oh, what kind of work? Same old thing. To run a sucker's game again, you mean? I think by now you would have learned your lesson. Chamaco is a friendly place and its citizens forget very easily. Maybe so. I haven't forgotten, though. What's your connection with Masters? I haven't any. But he knows something I'm interested in. And what's that? Where my father is. One of these days, I'll find him. What's Master's got to do with it? About a year ago, somebody kidnapped my father. Got a glimpse of him before he rode away. He was tall and very thin. And he had tiny little eyes. They were mean and, and set close together like a coyote's. And since then, have you ever seen this man? Yes. Here in Chamaco, working for Master's. All of a sudden, Masters is a very important man. The last time I was here, he was a simple rancher. Now, everywhere I go, his name is the only thing I hear. He owns Chamaco now. He does what he wants, and they're all scared of him. In the last year or so, he's gotten very rich. There are rumors that he found a huge gold mine, only no one's ever seen it, and no one knows where it is. It sounds like a lot of talk. Not even Masters could keep a gold mine hidden that long. And besides, that still doesn't explain how your father enters in. I don't know. My father was a nobody. A failure as an artist, a dreamer who lived in a world of his own. He was my father and I loved him. When we lived in Juarez, he was very successful. But he, he had to get out of Mexico because of something he'd done. He never told me what it was. Cheer up. You can quit worrying. I promise we'll find your father. You used to be an artist, you said. Yes. The whole thing's starting to become a bit clearer. If things are the way I think, all we've got to do is sit tight and watch Masters. And then what? And then we'll see. 
One thing always leads to another. Wasn't that what old Confucius said? Or was it? Oh, well, it's all the same. <laughs> but why are you so interested in my father? Not for love, sweetheart, but for cash. Though, if this thing is really as big as I believe it is, a bit of love does no harm. <laughs> They brought masters a little present. Who said you could continue playing after the agreed amount? No one's going to tell me what to do with the money I earn. You need to learn some manners, I see. Hog time. You won't get very far if you kill me. I'm not trying to go anywhere. Don't try anything funny. I got a nervous finger. You weren't very smart coming out here. But I wasn't trying to be smart, Masters. What are you here for, then? I got word you wanted to see me. Yes, but I'd intended to conduct the game my way. And now, it seems that you've got the upper hand. Well, are you going to keep me out here all night? Where do you suggest we hold our conversation? Won't you uh, come inside? And the watchdogs? Are they coming in, too? Don't worry, they won't bite unless I give them the order. Come in, come in. Sit down, won't you? And my leg starts to hurt me if I stand too long. Will you join me in a little drink, or whiskey or sherry? Whiskey. Can't stand whiskey myself. It's too rough for me. You've killed two of my best gunmen. That means you're fast and cool-headed. And also ambitious, right? Let's just say driving a wagon is a waste of my talents. Well, what do you want to do? That's for you to decide, don't you think? I'll sleep on it. I warn you, though, I expect total obedience from anyone who works for me. When you've finished your whiskey, I'll tell the men to fix you up with a bump. You think they're going to like that? They will if I say so. And anyhow, you've already proved you can take care of yourself. Sure is a quiet night, huh? Let me see your canteen for a second. Nothing doing. Seen eight times already tonight. Oh, come on. Be a pal. Hand it over. Yeah, not on your life. Yeah, you're a mean one. Mean and stingy. Stingy? Your trouble is you're just jealous. Oh, you'll just take one little look. Come on. Oh, all right. practically empty. <laughs> we take a look at that. <laughs> Reminds me of a little redhead I once knew back in El Paso.
Hey, listen, Pete. Let me take a little drink. You said yourself it's quiet tonight. Oh, all right, just to shut you up. But you better quit when I tell you to. One sip and no more. Hey, that's enough. Leave some for me, will you? I said that's all. Stingy, just like I said. Won't even let a guy take a real drink. All set. Go get him. Get your hands up. Take him away. This is the one we wanted. Who did it? How many were there? Or were you so drunk you didn't even see who hit you? What am I paying you for? see that I'm surrounded by a pack of idiots. One of you get me, Lucas. Well, they were Mexicans. You can tell by looking at the heel marks. And just what is the difference between a Mexican's boots and anybody else's? Well, Mexicans always have their heels worn down. Why is that? That's because of their siesta. Yeah, I'll show you. A Mexican takes his siesta sitting against a wall, like this. Now, when he drops off to sleep, his feet start to slide. And his heels get a little worn down. When he has them stretched out all the way, it bothers him, and he draws his legs back up. And his heels get a little more worn down. That's why I figured they were Mexicans. Maybe so, it sounds logical. But where are they headed for now? And why did they take the old man? No one but you can give the answer to that. But as far as where they took him, that seems fairly obvious. Oh, where? The speed. They went across the border, into Mexico. That's home territory to them. We only have to follow their trail. Yes, only what happens if we can't find it? If I can't find it, it means that they didn't leave any trail. And the only place you can't leave a trail is on rock. If you ask me, they are across the border by now, holed up someplace. Maybe up at Wild Peak. You have the job. Be ready in 10 minutes. And I don't care how far you have to go, track them down. And then you're to come back quick as possible. Now, with the artist, have you got that? And what if I should have trouble with the border guards? I will expect you to see that you don't. You can trust me, Masters. I'll get your artist back. But I do have one little condition. I want to go alone. I don't want anyone slowing me up. Anyhow, a man alone is less suspicious. As you wish, Lucas. But no tricks. I must have that man back at any cost. He's worth his weight in gold, and don't you forget it. Leave the whole thing to me, Masters. I won't let you down. This is the type of work I like. Lucas, you better not fail. Hey, hey.
Stay right where you are. If you try reaching for your gun, I'll kill you. It's too bad, amigo. You are very clever, but not quite clever enough. What's wrong? I paid you your $4,000 back. I don't see what more you could ask from me. That's correct. You paid your debt. But this is another story. You're coming with me. We have many things to discuss. But first of all, I'll take your holster. kidnapped by masters. I worked in his laboratory. Doing what? I'm an engraver. I printed pesos. Are you able to engrave dollars as well? Oh, you need the equipment, the inks, the right tools. I was just beginning to make dollars for masters, but I once made a thousand peso note. It was perfect work. Violet and green with the face of Maximilian on it, and he was smiling. Maximilian never smiled in his life, you idiot. Every school child knows that. I know, but I wanted to see if anyone would notice it was a forgery. <laughs> Did anyone notice? Worse luck for me, yes. So I left Mexico sooner than I'd expected. That's right. Only it wasn't Maximilian's smile that got them. No one even looked at that. They were fascinated by the bill itself. We passed it around till it was almost worn out. You see, it was the first thousand peso note that any of them had ever seen. Because there is no thousand peso note. It was my very own invention. I was the first man to make one. Ever since then, counterfeit pesos have been flooding Mexico, and the government hired me to find out who was responsible. Now that he is in my hands, you want to escape again. Be that as it may, you still ain't got Masters. And he's the one who's actually behind this. Masters is not my concern. You mean you'd really take this poor old man to pay the penalty for Masters? I know nothing of Masters. I'm here to catch the one who made the pesos, and now I've got him. But if he won't testify, how are you going to prove it? The proof is over at Masters. He's the real criminal. This no use, amigo. I don't know how you come into all this, but I'm doing this my way. I don't gamble unless I'm sure to win. All right. Only you ain't gained anything this way. Don't you see that? You ain't never going to stop the counterfeit. Not till you stop Masters. You two can keep gabbing about me, but I'm going to sleep. That's right, old man. You go to sleep. Pretty soon you'll be in a nice, comfortable cell with no friends around to disturb you.
Masters wants to have a little talk with you. That's exactly where I'm heading. You don't think we're going to swallow that story? Anyway, you have no choice unless you want to pull it in your head. What is all this, anyhow? I'd Maybe like to know might. what I've done to deserve. Quit playing innocent. Now get moving. Come on, shake a leg. There's Lucas. They're being taken to Masters. Somehow we'll have to rescue them, and soon. But how can we? I have no idea, but we have to try. I'm going to play a long shot, Lola. I only hope that it'll work. It's time for a few explanations, huh? I'd like nothing better. Just what's your game? I don't know what you mean. Ah. Don't get smart with me, Lucas. I warn you. Right now, you're not in a very healthy position. I've noticed. Does it give you so much pleasure to keep me on my knees? Let him set up. Who are you working for? No one. I'll work on my own. In that case, why did you come to Chamaco to begin with? What were you hoping to get, huh? $5,000 for delivering that wagon. How'd you hear about it? By accident. <laughs> How could you hear something by accident when the only man who knew about it was dead? Or maybe you killed him so that you could bring the wagon down here yourself. I didn't kill anyone. I found a wagon and brought it here to Chamaco. If you found it, how'd you know it was going to Chamaco? Just a lucky guess. If I haven't killed you so far, it's for the simple reason that I want to know how much information you passed on. Passed on? To who? I'm asking you. I told you already. I work on my own. I don't believe that. Have you ever mentioned my name to anyone? In connection with the wagon or the artist? Are you going to tell me? Well, Masters, it don't matter whether I tell you or not, you're going to kill me in any case. But since you're so eager to know, I think I'll leave you with your curiosity, and I hope you choke to death on it. Mm -mm. No, you lack imagination, Lucas. It's true, I'll kill you. But there are many ways of doing it. And for you, I'll choose something specially artistic. As tight as you can make it. How do you feel? Poor thing. What's wrong? Are you uncomfortable in that position? I know what. I'll give you something to rest your head on. Uh, 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 
There, that'll help you stay awake. It'd be a shame if you missed the sunrise. Dawn is so beautiful around here. And who knows? Maybe after a night in the fresh air, you'll decide to talk. Thanks, I can use it. Hmm. Ugh, tequila, I hate that rot gut. You want a drink? Yeah. Sure, I'm glad to see you. What's up with you, anyhow? First you were in cahoots with Master's men uh, to trap me, but now you're helping me out. She didn't do it only for you. Her father's a prisoner of Master's. Who? Is he the artist? 
Now, what's the matter? We've got to save him. You save him. I've had enough of this mess. They got my money in there. And I want it back. That's all I care about. Well, isn't that just Danny? Is that all the gratitude we get for saving your life? You could be putting on a big act. But if it's a sucker that you want, you sure have picked the right man. those bags. What do you got in mind? How many are there? Huh? We'll count them and find out. How do we do that? We're gonna have to smoke them out of there. Smoke them out? How? I said, quick, did you see anyone? No, I didn't, Master. It's not a soul. He didn't set himself free, imbecile. Rhoda! You go around to the back. They won't expect that. You're surrounded, Lucas. You might as well surrender. You'll never escape me now. I want the money that's coming to me. The 10,000 I won. It's a deal. Simply toss me your gun and I'll give it to you. I want to live to enjoy my money. And what's more, I'm taking the artist. Nothing doing. I'll give you your $10,000, I'll even give you 20, and I'll let you go free. You couldn't ask for a better deal than that, Lucas. Will you throw me your gun? Go like it going. Up here, hurry.
Now puts you in an unhealthy position, Master. You win. It's all yours. But I warn you, if you kill me now, you'll be sorry later on. You won't have any trouble making counterfeit money. But who's going to get rid of it for you, huh? That could be true. But I'll kill you first and then worry about it. No. You said yourself, I lack imagination. Let go of his collar, Lucas. Now drop your gun. You're too hot-headed. That's no longer useful to me. What's got into you? I can't let you kill him. Masters is far too valuable. With him and the artist, I'm going to make a fortune. That right, Masters? Oh, yes, uh, naturally. We can reorganize the setup. You're the one who killed the driver of that wagon. I had to deal myself into the hand some way. Why, you filthy louse. Since you feel that way, I think it's time to end our association. <laughs> Don't move, Bronson. Throw your gun on the floor. <coughs> I've been watching you since the time you were in Mexico. You were caught swindling too many times. I'm sorry this boy had to risk his life for you. But I wanted to see just where this whole thing was leading. <laughs> he could never resist gambling, even with his own life. You better not go back to Mexico. It's smarter to stay away for the time being. Understand? It's lucky for you I listened to Lucas, or else you'd be on your way to prison in Master's place. I got the money. It's mine, every penny of it. Honestly, come by, too. Well, this is for you. It's the real thing, too. You can tell by the smell. I still don't think it'll be too hard. What's that? Making dollars. Anyhow, it might be interesting to try. Well, it's all over now. You ain't a bad guy after all. Adios. Adiós.